Good day, I'm Divine Divina Grasha from Descent to A, and in this video, I am going to demonstrate the steps in newborn assessment. The first step that I'm going to do is to check for infant safety. Remove any dolls beside the baby and educate the parents about putting any stuffed toys beside the baby. Always keep the bob syringe at the foot of the bed or the crib. Educate the parents about the importance of the bob syringe and how to use it. Verify the baby. Check the identification bracelet and match it to the mother's identification bracelet. Or you can check the name tag on the hospital script. Before touching and proceed to the uh, assessment, notice how the baby is acting or the level of consciousness. And then, wear clean gloves before touching the baby. Next, auscultate the baby. Listen to the heartbeat of the baby for one full minute. A normal heartbeat of a newborn baby is 110 to 160 beats per minute. Next, listen to the lungs. Auscultate both sides of the baby. The next step is to take the respiratory rate. The normal respiration is 40 to 60 breaths per minute. The next step is to check the bowel sounds. The next step is to check the head for the suture line. Next is to check the eye. The 
the eye should be symmetrical. Okay, so next is the ear. So ears should be aligned with the eye. Check the nose if it covers each nostril. So next, we'll check them out. So moving down, check the neck for webbing. So we're going to be checking the baby's chest. So next is check the skin for any obvious discoloration. Next, let's check the arms and fingers. Count each fingers. Check for palmar grass. Next, um, check the toes. So the common abnormality for the fingers and toes is polydactyly. Um, it is a condition in which a person is born with extra fingers or toes. The next step is to check the foot for plantar grass or Babinski reflex. When the sole of the foot is firmly stroked, the big toe bends back towards the top of the foot and the other toes fan out. This is normal reflex up to about 2 years of age. The next step is to check the legs. One leg is not shorter than the other. And then, check for genitals. For female, it depends on how far along in gestation she was. If she is a term baby like 40 weeks, the labia minora and labia majora should be clearly visible and differentiated. So, you can see a smegma here. So, a smegma is a combination of shed skin cells, uh, skin oils, and moisture. It occurs in both male and female mammalian genitalia. As you can see, there's a blood here. Um, it is called um, pseudomenstruation. Um, it is a vaginal discharge that reflects uh, the psychological response of some female infants to an exposure to high levels of maternal uh, hormones in uterus. So the next step is to check the genitourinary or the GU. So check the color or the dark amber or rusty amber color stain in the diaper. Um, it is important to educate the parents because sometimes they think that it is blood and of course it is very scary. So let them know what is normal and what is abnormal. The next step is to check for the bowels movement. So the newborn's first tool or feces is called meconium. Um, this is sticky, thick, and dark green. 
um, it is uh, made up of cells, protein, fats, and intestinal secretions like bile. Also check if the baby has a diarrhea. Diarrhea on a baby is not normal. Diarrhea is when they have two or more watery stools. If they have one watery stool, there's nothing to freak out because it's normal. It could be a transitional stool. If that is one, two, three, or four, um, okay, that's diarrhea. It's not normal. It is very important to educate the parents. I'm going to wrap it back and check for the babies in baby call for. So we're gonna check for the redness, swelling, and bleeding. So there's no bleeding and redness, so it's normal. Next step is to check the baby's back for the curvature of the spine and to check the bottom if there is a sacral dimple. If the baby has a sacral dimple, it is not good. Having a Mongolian spot or congenital birthmarks seem normal at birth and most commonly over the lumbosacral area. They are bluish green to black in color and all bald to irregular in shapes. The next step that we're going to do is to track the baby's temperature on the axilla. The last thing to do is to swaddle the baby and give to the mother. And that is all for newborn assessment. Thank you.